These are my twins. <laughs> no, my. Mm. Are we? Are we not identical? <laughs> Hi guys. I'm squished in between the kids. Okay, hi guys. Thank you so much for coming um, back to my channel. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button and leave me a comment just before you leave. Yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, I dragged the kids here. We're talking about identity. I, think I just want to ask the kids how they feel, a few questions and stuff background i so i hope what i say do, doesn't influence your answers guys so i just want to know how you guys feel because for me i have struggled with my own identity um for a while i i mean i'm from lesotho and i'm, I'm a pastor's kid so i lived in the mission house like throughout my life but our home was actually in Nukum which is in the outskirts in the villages but when I was in Nukum I didn't like by I I mean we like my siblings and I I'm pretty sure they feel the same way but anyway I'm talking about myself so I didn't feel I didn't quite belong because I was a city kid you know but this was my home and then in Maseru I didn't quite belong either because I'm from the village. I'm from the village, but also because I'm a pastor's kid. Gotcha. You know, um, <coughs> Maseru kids were hip, and you know what I mean. And here we were, we were pastor's kids. Our address was in the mission. We didn't have our own place like other people, so things were always different. And then I went on to boarding school. You know, the same thing. And then we moved to South Africa. And then we lived in another mission house, <laughs> a mission place, and I went to boarding school. And I, I identified so much with South Africa when we were there. I loved boarding school so much. I mean, I just loved I went to Tangrele, or Tangrele in Mount Frey. I loved it so much that I, I felt, that's how you pronounce it, how you properly pronounce it, it's Tangrele. Well, what was the difference between that? <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference. There's a difference. There's and Kangele. I hear it. You hear it, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Ali. <laughs> so, um, well, when I got to Kangele, which we used to call Kinza, um, you know, it was like, oh, where, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Lesotho. Oh, oh, but but I live in, you know, I live at Bethel College in 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 Butterworth. Oh, like I always had to explain where I'm from, what's happening. I always had to explain my story. I couldn't just say I'm from such and such a place and it ends there, you know. But I loved it so much that I identified, like I. I, you know, I learned the language and everything and to a point where I felt South African, you know, I, like I identified myself as South African, even they treated me like I was South African. Like when I went to Port Elizabeth, when I was in Helderberg, in, in Cape Town, like <coughs> another high school I went to, then when I was in Port Elizabeth at um, Tertiary, they saw me as a South African. They saw me as Tosa because i spoke closer but they knew everybody knew i'm so true but everybody had sort of adopted me you know it was like oh yeah you're oh you're one of us you know so as a result when i went when we moved to the uk you know i was from south africa you know what i mean i like i never said i was from lesotho i was from south africa you know because that's how that's that's the place i identified with until I think someone called me out on it. Oh, Some other friends, they were very harsh about it, actually. They teamed up against me with my husband. 
I won't put <laughs> They were like, but you because there was a thing in the UK. Like Zimbabweans said they were from South Africa. Then the Belens, mm. so not the Shonas. The Shonas were very always proudly Zimbabwean. But then the Belens said they were from South Africa. So there was a thing like joking about them. They they didn't know the place, they didn't know they would say they were from a place, they mentioned it but they don't even know it. When you ask them about people from there or when you ask them about the actual place, they don't know it. But they say they insist they're from South Africa. So I think it was at the time when Zim things were going down and I think people were just really embarrassed about where they're from. So I was in on that joke, you know, laughing at them and then someone said to me, You also say you're from South Africa though and you're not from South Africa <laughs> I was like, well, everybody knows I'm not, but everybody knows I am mm. at the same time, you know? But they're like, no, but you you know? Sad. Yeah. So I was like, you know, that night, I don't know why, like, yeah, they were like, you are not from South Africa. Why do you say you're from South Africa? I was like, I am from South Africa. No, you're not. I think we had seen that day, we had seen someone from Lesotho. Um, and I was saying to them, like we're chatting to them and then we spoke about the accent sorry mm. we spoke about this person's accent and then this friend said to me you sound just like that though like this was the susuto accent i was saying how much i miss that accent like i don't have lost i don't have that accent anymore and they said no but you sound exactly the same you know i think that's how this whole thing started and after that, actually, the way they dealt with it, it, it was so ruthless that I started asking myself, but why do I say I'm from South Africa anyway? You know, up until then, I wasn't ashamed of being from Lesotho and I wasn't, I didn't think South Africa is better than Lesotho. I you just... Were, you were there like longer than Halle has been in Australia, surely, surely. See, because like, Halle now, where, where would you say you're from? Like if you went to America, no. If you went to America and they're like, where are you where from? Where you from? Exactly. What would you say? Lesotho and South Africa. No, 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 no. no, no. They hear your voice. <laughs> they're like, yes. they hear your voice. They're like, where are you from? Yeah. You're gonna say Australia, but so she was, was the there longer than you. she was in South Africa came, longer than no, you. No, I, I wouldn't say that's where I'm from. Was it when they ask where you where are you from? Like, I'm South African, but I'm also from Lesotho. Oh, no, where? No. Where in South Africa? But I was where born in Wales. Have you ever lived in South Africa? No. <laughs> so you see, so it's just like that kind of a thing where, for me, I was South African. You know what I mean? And I, I hadn't realized up until that time that I was actually saying, by saying I'm South African, I was saying I'm not from Lesotho. And that, I think that was when I started actually saying I'm from Lesotho. Because People didn't know where Lesotho was. So for me, it wasn't my mission to tell them where Lesotho was. Like, I just felt like, I mean, I didn't even use my name Mahadi. I used Vera, which I, I used in South Africa as well, because I didn't want to be, for people to be, to always be explaining to people how to, you know, pronounce my name. To say, no, it's not Mahali, it's Mahadi, because this and that, you know. So, I mean, at that age as well, because I was like, in my 20, 21, you know, I was in my early 20s when we moved to the UK, I was, I was 21. I, moved, I turned 21 the year we moved there. So, yeah, for me, I had, I had I just always said I was from South Africa, you know, because it was just easier. People know where that is. People didn't know where Lesotho was. But also, I really felt I was from South Africa. What do you mean? But I identified... I mean, I'm South African by nationality, but I, I identified myself as South African. So that's where I was from, you know? But then, yeah, since then, I'm from Lesotho. That's what I say and I explain where it is. You know, I started saying I'm from Lesotho. But even still, when people, there's, there's been people hooking me up with, with people from Lesotho. They're like, oh, there's someone else from Lesotho. When I meet these people, don't know the same stuff. we've got no, nothing in common well not nothing not completely but, nothing yeah, no. yeah but i don't know anything about what's happening in lesotho i've got no idea like the political thing i don't know but south africa ask me about zuma i will tell you you know <laughs> i i know what's happening in south africa i don't know what's happening in lesotho 
which is one thing that I've been, you know, telling myself, look, I have got to start researching. I've got to start knowing and being interested. But with things that happen in South Africa, I just know from, I didn't even have to be interested. I just knew them because I lived there because I live with the people from there. My husband is South African. Like, you know, so yeah, I found each time I meet people from Lesotho, I, I sort of feel, I feel like I don't belong. You know, I've been around a group of people from Lesotho and you just hear the accent, you know, they speak so well. They, I just feel, oh, I don't feel I belong, you know? And of course, even in going to Free State as well, I don't feel I belong either. But somehow I feel more what belonging about, there. like Eastern Cape? Would you say you feel Eastern like you Cape, there? I don't even know the accent, the cross accent, but I feel I belong. Mm. That is very weird. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, very, I'm very much suited. I'm not cross, but I feel I belong. When I'm with crossers, I feel home. I feel at home. Maybe it's like, um, you know, there's Tossas in uh, Free State. Yeah. I mean, I know they have a, like, kind of like a Tossa community, but like they hang out with obviously suit just because like everyone's suit, basically. Surely they feel more home there than like... Than anywhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then, then they're like generations of Tossas that live in Free State. Is that a thing? Yeah, because they speak, they'll be like, they speak both Tossa and suit. But so, yeah, like, but at least, like, being, you know, with, with your dad, um, you guys, I don't feel, I feel, I feel free, like I belong, I, you know, I can speak my own way and stuff, but when I'm in free state, but when I'm at home, like, at the Celepes, I'm, I'm fine, you know, but I used to have, I think, when we just got married, I used to, you know, people can hear you, that you're from Lesotho, and that, that's okay, that's okay. But there's a thing, you know, South Africans think they're better than everyone. Mm. <laughs> so there was a thing, of, and you just end up finding yourself using terms that they use, like Bomara, instead of Impa, you know, when you say but. Mm. Um, lots of things changing just subconsciously, just because you, your accent stands out. But, but people usually will say, oh, I love the Lesotho accent. You sound so good. And you don't want to be sounding like that like you know different from from people mm. but anyway i just lived there a year and a half before we moved to the uk so i just the suit that i have now is just the suit that i've used talking to dad and what have you but yeah but when i'm with process i actually do feel home i feel like i'm home so there's that identity problem Mm. Like I feel, I feel small when I'm with, with Masutu, you know, from Lesotho, I feel small because mm. I can't speak, I can't command the language the way they do. Mm. I just wish I hadn't left, basically. Like I, 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 I love my language. It's still there somewhere, but it's very much mixed with the South African suit, which is mixed with Africans, which is mixed with all sorts. You know, it's not, it's not pure. Mm. And the accent, man, yeah, many times I, I don't feel I belong when I'm with my fellow Basut. So, with that long intro. <laughs> Yo, look at the time. Yo, I know that. There's going to be just an intro video. So with that long intro, I've, I've, I've always wondered mm. how you guys feel. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know? Right. <laughs> 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 <Brought. laughs> how, how do you see yourselves? Who are you? That's actually hard. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like you. I'm, I feel like I'm more like, ma. I feel like, I feel like it's not like that to be honest. Because, I don't know, even though, like, It'll be like, oh, people ask, are we born in Australia? And you're like, no. Like, most black people your age are, because most black people your age are born in like Zimbabwe or somewhere. Or it's just not here. Yeah. Right? So even though you, you like, weren't born here, you, you basically like everyone else. Right? Wait, what do you mean by that? Like, as in, no, there, that there's so many immigrants in Australia that, 
you know, it doesn't make it doesn't a difference make, where you were born. Yeah, not, yeah. not like them where it's like, yeah. oh, you're not South African, because you know what I mean. And you think you think it'd be like that for me, but like right now, even like listen to my voice. Like, what what am I like? <laughs> what is this accent? What's this accent? Tree? It's like, you'd never guess. It's like Aussie, but then like there's just some stuff I say, and they be like, oh, like yogurt. And I was like, well, what's with yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> Or like sometimes I'll like subconsciously call underwear pants and then everyone will be like, what do you want about me? Like mm. I just do it, but like, just, yeah. like, and then I'll be like, oh, what? Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Like, and, and I mean, I have those kinds of things sometimes, sometimes when we say cojet and I'm thinking, yeah, 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 I did that. I was like, um, yeah, I did that the other day, legit, <laughs> like courgette. I was like, uh, what is a courgette in like, yeah, in yeah. Like I, I don't know what is a courgette. And he's like, what do you mean a courgette? Like you know that one? It's like it's like a, uh, a, a cucumber, cucumber, but it's, like it's not a cucumber, a cucumber. A cucumber, and it's not an eggplant. And mm. then they were like, oh, uh, was it zucchini? Yeah, zucchini. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> uh, I was like, I was. They, I did that last week. I was is like, it? what is a courgette? <laughs> they were like, what are you on about? Man? That's a courgette. <laughs> oh, great. No, but I it's know. like wait, what did you say? What did you say? So, you were saying. So yeah, who 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 do you who do you feel you are? Yeah, like, that's like who and how do you feel about what you think do you, know what? you are and who you think you are? No, I feel like do you know what it is? So like, um, uh, I feel like Australians, not Australians, not all Australians, mm. and definitely not white Australians. I was gonna say they have no culture, but like white Australians definitely have Aussie culture, but it's like. Black Australians, so you know how like black Americans have culture. Mm. They have like a, the black American culture. Yeah. Black British people even have a black British culture. Yeah. We yeah. have nothing. Do you know what we do? We just steal from everyone else. Oh, they all. We just steal a little. Aussies. Yeah, we just steal a little. Like yeah. you, don't, you probably you don't experience this as much because you're not like young. But like young people, they're uh, black. They're black like role models. They're not Australian, obviously, mm. because they you, are no, what black person have no you seen one... on TV is Australian. Yeah. In all honesty, so so people will either look to uh, Americans or British people. So it's become like a weird amalgamation of both. But then, like me, I I like I don't know. I started saying like British slang, but the thing is, I didn't say this slang before. I like when before I lived left. when I when lived there. Were, all I said was like in it, but like that's not even deep like that. Um. And then I felt like I was like faking, but then I like I was like I'd be like calling people out like. Australian people like saying oh brother in it and then I'm like how can I call them out when like I'm I'm basically doing what they're doing but then I'm like no but I'm British but then I'm like no but like am I though and it's like it's actually hard and it's like when you know when people ask you where are you from like what you were saying mm. like if someone asks where are you from you gotta ask what do you mean by that yeah. that's what we have to do <laughs> because we were born in one country but our heritage is somewhere else oh, and it's like man. Like every time someone asks where you're from, you gotta be like, what do you mean? Like nationality I don't do or, that like, I just or like or like birth <laughs> or like what t- suburb do I live in? Mm. Like So where were you where were you born, Ria? Tell- Solihull, England. <laughs> East Midlands and that. Is yeah. it East? Is it West? West. <laughs> West Midlands and <in> that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other one. No, I get it confused because we lived we in lived East Midlands. We lived in East Midlands before coming here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's, but East Midlands, no, West Midlands is actually a county, right? Mm. But East Midlands is just an area. But yeah. so is West Midlands, but it's also a county. Yeah, yeah. So how do you feel? How do you feel about being born in England? And also Wales. Okay. Wales is a part of my identity, but is it, it is. really? I can't say I'm you from Brecon Towers. I lived there for five. Yeah, I, like I can't say that. Five years of like, my life. even though it's the first time I remember, I wasn't born there. I can't say that's like my hometown or whatever. Because you were, you were two, were you? I don't know. Almost how two. Because I, I remember having your birthday. Mm. You were two when you went to Wales. So you were there until from two to seven. Mm. And then, like, when I try to like talk to like English people about like, like preschool, like nursery <laughs> or something, sometimes it's not the same. Because Wales and English nursery is apparently sometimes different. Is it? And yeah, so then, like, I can't identify with any, or like, I don't know. And then it's like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, 
yeah, it's just it's just weird. It's so weird. Like people will be like, oh, like when I tell a story mm-hmm. probably from my childhood, you know, everyone, pretty much everyone's stories from Australia. They'll be like, oh, when I was in kindy, when I was, in, and I got to like reword the stuff. I go like, when I was in kindy, I, I just replace like nursery with kindy okay. and reception with pre primary all the time, <laughs> just because like yeah, just so they it, it's oh, yeah. So why would I? Yeah, why would I like? They'd be like, what's a nursery? And then I go like, oh I go man. So, so, but so okay, you're not answering. Quite, how 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 does all that make you feel? How do oh, you feel like, what do I identify as? Mm. I mm, everything. Okay. A, uh, you identify as a citizen of the world. Yeah, I mean, like, as far as England and Wales go, it's just like collectively British. Yeah. But then at the same time, I can't really, I can't really do that because I'm not British really. Like, I, I mean. I, uh, nah, I, you know, I just, I say <laughs> that, are you? I say that just to explain why I talk the way I do sometimes, mm. but like, I like, I feel like since we moved to Australia, like, honestly, I think maybe because there's like so many like African immigrants, not at, like, but I don't know, they, they more, they more identify as African, mm. but like, I remember in England, people, you'd be like, where are you from? People would be like, England. Yeah. Straight like us yeah. as little kids yeah, and I mean, we're you, all, you... we're all black together. We're like, surely yeah. not. But like we're all like, oh, we're from England. Even me, when I lived in Wales, where are you from? I'm from England because I was born there. Yeah. But like, but when you move to Australia, everyone everyone wants to be from Africa. Like, not oh, every, okay. not not the like white people, but yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like every, played, everyone yeah. is proud of their Africanity or whatever. Mm. Africanity. I don't know how, how to say. It. <laughs> but they you know, they're like, like oh, I'm from Zim. Like I'm from I'm from like uh, Rwanda. I'm from like. Uh, Eritrea or something, yeah. Mm. I'm mean, Eritrean. I don't know how to say. It. I don't know how to say the country. Isn't is that, that's South that's it's East. Caribbean? Is it? No, no. It's oh, it's like near, near Somalia. Oh dear. Something. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. So then, so then I became like more proud of like, like not South Africa. I always used to say, but then the suits. I don't know why I became proud of the suits. It wasn't even Black Panther that did it. Like I was already proud of the suits before Black Panther. I was just happy. Black Panther, but like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it was, it was just like I think it was the fact that no one knew uh, like uh, like the way that country was, mm-hmm. and I could be like, it was like yeah. you know like all with, with Nicaragua, like there's this time yeah. where like at, at at camp, like one of the leaders he was like, oh if you can guess where I'm from, then I give you free Nando's, and like someone guessed first time Nicaragua, and they, and he hasn't got the Nando's yet, but like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like i was like I, I could do that like i'm one of those people like i could mm. be like bro if you can guess where my mom's from then you okay. can get like 50 dollars <laughs> and no one will guess <laughs> and and not even south africans know where the suit is like like i say south africans yeah. but like you know the white ones uh, but like they don't have they should they should be the ones that don't know people when everyone. i got when i got to the uk people didn't know where the suit was zimbabweans didn't know where the suit was even now i still get people think it's the same thing yeah. Everybody says, is it not the same thing as South Africa? Yeah. Surely it's the same thing. Yeah. Like at the hair salon. And... <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah, thinks it's the same the thing. <laughs> so you're okay though with with who you are. But you yeah, okay? I I've I I've, I've, I've identified I identify like all as everything that okay. I am. I've, I've, like Australian, not so much. I don't know why. Everyone, it's because let me tell you something. Australians don't want to be Australian. If like the clo- unless there's like generation unless oh, they yeah you're right unless their ancestors started here mm-hmm. they don't want to be a shit like they're like oh you know i'm scottish and he's like i actually yeah well my grandparents are mm-hmm. oh yeah. true <laughs> but are you and then oh it's like um yeah. oh i'm greek or oh, i'm this or oh, i'm that but like oh yeah but they're actually, but the every world, but they everyone's the same a, they want to add a flair but you you got sense. you can't be an aussie like because i guess yeah, because everyone in australia is not from australia apart from indigenous people there's not like yeah. there's not that many. That's of what I found about here is in relation to everyone else. Even you know the accent, you just go back to speaking the way you spoke before. Like I used to have like you know some British twang, but being here, you're just proud of who you are because yeah. people's attitude is that like, we everywhere. are all foreigners. We're yeah. all from somewhere here, so we're all proud of where we're from. We mm. get here. Mm-hmm. How about you, Missy? <laughs> who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Like literally, legit, like if I genuinely was just like if if I was someone and they were like, hey, where are you from? What would you say? I'm South African. Yeah. But I'm also from Lesotho. My mom from no. Oh, you don't add that part, do you? Do you? No, no. Exactly. <laughs> you got just say but, what you actually say because it like she's from South Africa as well mm. technically. Yes, yeah. I say that. So you say you, you say this so technically. 
What? What, what do you say? You say? No, <laughs> I, no, I say what I said before, except for the mum bit. Okay, you say you're from South Africa and from Lesotho. Yeah. That's, that's sometimes, I, sometimes I add, um, but I was born in Wales. Sometimes. Oh, but oh, I told you, I give them the whole bit. Okay. So you don't, you don't really. <laughs> but sometimes you don't, you don't, you don't say where you were born. Some, some do people even know you lived in England, or do people just reckon just straight up Wales? Because all you'd say is, I'm, I'm born in Wales. Yeah. I know, I, know, I never... I'm from South Africa. Do people even know about England? No. No. I Mad. I never told them England. You, you, you don't even remember Wales. Right. <laughs> but it's more interesting. Is no it... one's born in Wales. That's more interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was like, guess what? I'm born. It's like you were, born, it's like you were born in Wales when you went on holiday. It's like, yeah. <laughs> the way you put it. <laughs> yeah, true. Because you were like, also, I was born in Wales. Yeah. But it's like... It's like it's, if your parents went like on holiday, your then went to Wales you got born in yeah. Wales, and then you came back, and like, then you say, "Oh yeah, and I was born." A bit like Palace. Well, they were not on holiday, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Because she doesn't, she doesn't, she never lived there really. She, she doesn't remember. She was there for a year. Well, that's like Hala. Exactly. She wasn't there for a year, but she was pretty close. To, like it was more than a very long time. It's like two years, right? Two years. Oh, in Wales. In, in Wales. Okay, I mean in Britain, the, the whole, because cause you were asking if people know about England. Yeah. So she just says she was born in Wales and lives it at that. <laughs> but I've seen, I, I, I found it really interesting to hear you guys say, identify with being South African and being from Lesotho, mm-hmm. because I know when we're in the UK, you were English, you know? Yeah. You were English. Yeah, was it, was, it was 100% moving yeah. here that made me <laughs> feel like I was... Like I could, I could be other stuff. Okay. I don't know. It, I'm not. I'm not saying like the English are like. No, they do. Because, they are. They are the English. Because there is pride. There is pride. Like I see people and they're like, "Oh, Niger pride. Let's go Ghana. Let's go Zim. Let's go and that." Like it's it's a thing. Yeah. There is yeah. pride, but like, I don't know. Everyone's still English. <laughs> okay. If that makes sense. Wait, wait. Oh, in in the in, in English. English. Okay. Like everyone's yeah. everyone's proud of where they're no, from. No, 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 no. It's just the English. it's just the Western Africans. No, no, not they're even not Zim- Zimbabweans. Like, okay, maybe this is just people. Maybe, my age. maybe yeah, this now, is my age. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, maybe at your age now, but mm-hmm. when you guys were younger. But like, when, yeah, when we were kids, we were all English. And everybody was really being angry, English. being told. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're from Zimbabwe. Like, you know, yeah. kids hated that. Goodness, we used to talk about that with other parents, like how you guys hate being told you're from Africa. I used to say I was South African until I, I was English. I don't remember when that happened. No, I just remember you. I actually used to. I actually, I remember, I like, I can't, I, like, I, don't, I don't remember when it was, but I remember a certain point where I was like, I'm English? Oh, I think I was like with Vuyo or something. I think I was at Vuyo's church or something like, it was something like that. It was a, a while ago, in Wales. Mm. And then I was like, uh, where they were, like, where are you from? And like, I, I think I asked you guys this a while ago, so you guys said South Africa. Mm. Because it was just there. It was a, it was an aunt I said. So I said South Africa. And they're like, were you born there? And I was like, no. And they're like, then you're not from South Africa. I was like, what? Yeah, that's just how it is in the UK. You are, and then you are who you they are. asked me where, where I was born. I said England. They're like, you're English then. And I was like, true. Yeah, that's how, that's how it is in the UK. You are like where you were born, you know? Yeah. There's, a, there's a guy who was preaching, I remember... His, his his parents are from the Caribbean and you know, he was calling himself an Englishman and we were just looking at each other with dead. You know, he was saying the Englishman that I am. But that's the thing in the UK, if you're born there, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's okay to identify yourself as being from there. But us Africans, like, no, you need to identify yourself with where your parents are from, where your heritage is. So how do you feel? You don't... You don't Legit, if, so, if I, someone I, asks you... I got, I got in a fight with my friends about... Um, about like where, where you're from yeah and i was where, like what like how did this like, it was like it was me and you're some other from people where you want to be from. Okay. and then i was like <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> i was i was like um so where are you from and then and then she was she said Please. like i was born in blah blah, blah. Okay. and it was like mm. i was born in blah 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 so and so is it in australia <laughs> anyway, so then, so then it was like, where are your parents from? And then, like, where are your parents from? Like, isn't that where you're, you're from? Where your parents are from? 
And she's like, no, it's the way you're mm. born. It's like... Yeah, see? Someone was from England. But, mm. isn't it... <laughs> but, like, where your parents are from, you're from, because you're... From your parents. From, yeah. Mm. And then, like, no, but you were born... Like, you, you're from where you were but born, they, they, because that's like, you, not yeah. your parents. What and did you I'm say? Like, what did you say? I said it's both. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like at a certain that's point, why, that's why at a certain I point, say. it gets problematic because it's like, yeah, because it, yeah. it, it's like, I'm oh, did I tell you about in class how like my Indian South African friend and my uh, uh, like Afrikaner South African friend, like mm-hmm. they were they were talking about like the the like white one said to the Indian one, he's like, oh, you're not South African, you're Indian, All right? And then she's like, no, I'm not Indian, uh, and then she's like, he's like, where your parents born? And she's like, South Africa. And he's like, where your grandparents born then? And then she, she was like, oh, they were born in India, but like, they don't really remember it. And then he's like, oh, what religion do you follow? And she's like, oh, I'm Hindi, but we just do that to keep like up with the culture. And he's like, so you're Indian. Oh, and then, <laughs> and then I don't know what he they were having this debate. <laughs> and then I turned around and I was just like, cause they, cause uh, so they asked the teacher and they got like a whole thing. And I was like, it wasn't, it wasn't like a heated or anything. Okay. It was just Finding them it. trying to debate. Yeah. They weren't even like angry at each other. Okay. It was just, yeah. And then I, I was just like, well, technically, oh mate, the white guy, I was like, well, well, I was like, are you South African? And he's like, yeah, I'm South African. And I was just like, no, nah, but you're Dutch, bro. And then he was like, no, nah, that's years back. I was like, same difference, yeah. my friend. <laughs> like, like, I was going to say something, but I didn't. I was going to say I'm so- more South African than all of them. And I didn't speak the language. But then I was going to say, but then, I, but then if you think about it, I, I'm not like, if you go far far enough back, yeah. I'm I'm from you like from suit, yeah. I'm, no, but if you go even far, far yeah, I'm from the suit. But then if you go even further back than that, I'm from somewhere in the central Western yeah, Africa, okay. and and I came down and invaded the Khoisan land. <laughs> so technically, the Khoisan yeah. are South, more South African than all of us. But then if you go even further back, we're all from some random place in Africa. Like yeah. just we're don't all even. from Eden. It gets problematic <laughs> after a while, so just don't. Maybe that's yeah. why people just say they're from where they you, were born. You're from where you were born. I guess. So that would make you English and Welsh. I feel like wherever you identify as, as long as like it's justifiable, Culturally, you can identify. Yeah, yeah, because that's what your dad said that, you know, yeah, you are South African because, you, you know, at the time when we were going through this thing, when for me, like, I really felt so rejected because people would tell me, you are not South African. Yeah. I said, no, I am. Yeah. But yeah, did you have a, you have a passport, healed. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, then you know no, how that, I, I you know there's English, that thing. Like, that I'm Australian okay now. Said. Like I, I really did. I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I identify myself as both. Mm. You know, I identify myself as both. But I'll first, I'll say first, first and foremost, yeah. I'm from Lesotho. You know, yeah. the first and foremost. But when we were, when we are where I need to be South African, I'm South African. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm British as well. I may not have the accent. You know what I mean? Oh. If I if I went to America now or something happened to me, the Taliban, I'm British. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I, I need the queen to save me, I'm British. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I guess yeah, that's the thing. Okay, now that was that was interesting. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, now you just need to learn the language. You see, it, it'd be better if we could like we could straight up say we're South African if we need the language. You yeah, know, we we're we could be on like it. we could be like, yeah, I'm South African. Because then you know when you like, oh, oh, hola, South hola. but then but then most of the time you're like I'm South African and they go oh you speak Afrikaans and like nah oh you can't be South African bro there's like eleven oh languages <laughs> yeah. those are just the official ones mate like you don't know? even get me started yeah. mate I actually hate that I hate people that oh do you speak like South African. Like, yeah, it's because here there's yeah, there's more know. white South Africans than yeah, yeah, any other. Yeah, but well, doesn't really like, it doesn't happen. So they think yeah. yeah, so they think if you're South African, you speak Afrikaans. Yeah. Did I tell you about that um that girl in my Indonesian class? But well, she thought you speak Afrikaans. Huh? She, she thought you were she thought you weren't South African because you're black. Wait, cut this bit out. <laughs> yeah, I will cut it out. Okay, good. Did she think that? Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is this even what a savage. <laughs> did you tell her what it was actually the ODG just keep going? No, I just laughed inside. I'm like, oh. what? It's like, yeah, my parents are teaching. My, my parents I mean, are teaching. I didn't know what the language, like, I actually, I, like, I was like, I actually generally had a thing like that, but I never said it in public, but I was like, I was like, oh, I think I said to mom, oh, what's the language? Do we speak South African? Like, do South Africans speak South African? And she was like, no. Tell me. 
mm. what language we speak and stuff and how there's lots of languages. Which, like, before, I would have just thought that, you know? I guess that's why, I, like, you know, like, some white people feel like, oh, I speak African. But then that's too far. That's where, that's where the That's like... Is. South African, <laughs> that's understandable, you know? That's logical because... If like in, English people speak English Chinese and Spanish people speak Spanish, Chinese. Spanish and yeah, exactly. Well, so, no, they speak Mandarin. Yeah, but it's like logical. Oh. What's not logical is putting a language on a continent. That's where that's where the language. Do you speak from. African? <laughs> yes, of course I do. This should be a GIF. <laughs> you know, boomy. You know the boomy. Hack a boomy. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know what you identify with. Did you, did anything we said make sense to you? Did, did could you identify? Let us know. Don't forget to like this video and share it. Share it. Yeah. Subscribe. Hit subscribe. That's it. That's right, Rhea. Okay, just down below, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. I love you. But remember that. What? God loves you even more. And what? And that is true. Is that sign language? <laughs> what are you doing? Big <laughs> one doesn't know sign language. What are you doing? <laughs>